Hey, everybody, what is going on on a Friday? My name is Nick Baldwin. I also have my co host and partner in crime. Do you guys hear that feedback? Is this happening yeah. again? No, it could be. Is everybody muted? Maybe somebody has a um, Facebook. Hold on. Up. Wait a minute. Yeah. No, it could be. Is everybody muted? Oh, yeah, it did that again. Oh, it we is. We were having doing this issue last time, didn't we? Testing, yeah. testing. Can you hear that? I can. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Give me one second. Let me fix this. I can. Yeah. That is so strange. Let me fix this. Why does that always happen when I go live on Facebook? Oh, no. Why does that always happen? Oh, I have an idea. Let's try this. Okay. How about now? Testing, testing. Oh, it's better. Did it go away? It went away. Right, sweet. You know why? Because the, I think the Facebook was open. The Facebook, yes. Okay, let's start over. Okay, let's start over. Right, and we'll start take over. two. <laughs> hey, everybody. How we doing? It's Nick Baldwin. I'm here with my, my business partner and my partner in crime, Leslie Jackson. Everyone hi, everyone. Say hi, to Leslie. Excited to see you all. Hey, Leslie, why don't you introduce yourself quickly? Yeah, sure. I know they're like, who's this Leslie Jackson? Chick? Who is she? Well, she's a pretty smart. She's a pretty smart lady. <laughs> well, I will tell you, I've been with Keller Williams since I think 2000. I don't know. It's been like around seven years. Um, I was an MCTT for a little bit and then an RTT. For those of you who don't know me, uh, what RTT means, a regional tech trainer. So I was a regional tech trainer for uh, Colorado, about 27, 28 market centers. And then I decided, you know what? I think I want to sidestep and, and partner up with Nick Baldwin. So here I am. Um, I was on a mega team. I have my real estate license. I have my marketing degree. I have a lot of experience with teaching top agents such as yourself and solo agents and everything in between. And um, what else can you say? What, what else can I say about myself? You enjoy... Long walks on the beach and I chewy, enjoy long walks sticky in the toffee. Mountains, actually, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. My name is Nick Baldwin. I am co-founder of Lab Code Agents. I was regional technology trainer for the Michigan Northern Ohio region. I was also a team leader for a market center in Clarkston, Michigan. But I'm originally from New Jersey, where I ran a mega team, and I've been in the business for about 16 years. So let's get started today. We're going to be talking about. Uh, customizing your listing listing presentation within command because there's a lot of listing presentation templates to choose from and then we're going to jump into creating and customizing your buyer and seller guides on your keller williams mobile app and your keller williams consumer facing website and so we're focusing on consumer stuff today and we're going to start with the listing consultation listing presentation leslie's going to jump on in and show you how to customize that to your business and go into a listing presentation looking like a rock star let's help you look like a rock star even though you all are rock stars already we're just going to enhance your rock star qualities okay <laughs> so i'm heading to um you know it's friday nick i'm in a good mood oh, i'm going to select yeah, I'm going to select designs. Well, we all know um, to a real estate agent, Friday means It doesn't nothing. mean anything. I know. It's like every day. <laughs> yep. All right. So I'm going to select create design upper corner of my screen. And then I am then going to select print and continue because we're going to be talking about listing presentations. And I love this because we add value, we add value, we add value. So as much value as you can think of to help close that deal. I just have one question though. Do we add yeah. value? Do we add value? I think we add value. <laughs> wow. That's really good. Um, okay. So over here on the left-hand side of my screen, you're going to see all the options and, um, and what you can choose from to create a template. And for this example, I'm going to be focusing on the listing presentation. So over here underneath the listings, I'll then select listing presentation. 
Hope you guys are doing good. And please make sure in the chat, you know, if you have any questions, um, yeah. please place them in the chat so Nick can answer. Yeah, I will answer your questions in the chat. Let us yeah. know. Okay, cool. So here we are. Here are some options. And I love it because, oh, it's kind of, this is new. It's kind of thumbing through what each oh, page looks like. Oh, that is a cool new feature, That's a new, new feature. update. So yeah. when you hover over the listing presentation, yep. it kind of takes you through the different pages. It slides through. That's amazing. Oh, they that just think of everything. I love it. It's those little things that really help though. So I'm going to come in and, you know, just use this one. So I'll select use. And then from here, this is where the magic happens. Are you guys ready? Actually, one second. I'm going to head back here. I'm going to show them where brand assets are real quick, Nick. Is that is okay? That okay that's important. You? Yeah, do that first. So tell them, important first. tell them why you want to show them brand assets. Yeah. So one reason why I'm going to show you brand assets is to help you save time and energy of uploading those same, same things that you would typically upload when you create a design in design. So I'm going to head to, um, you'll see, so we've already selected. Let Something weird worship. popped up on your screen there. Oh, what was it? Ad guard extension has been updated. Huh. You don't see it? Oh, yeah. yeah there there it is. you go. <laughs> Thank you. Our our faces were in the way. I was like, it's only that giant pop-up. You don't see it? It's only that giant pop-up that screen that says. <laughs> yeah, you're like, um, where is it? I don't it? see it. Where okay. is it? I'm getting old, Nick. I'm getting old. So we're going to go to brand assets and that helps them. Yeah, that keeps them from having to update, like upload photos and, and, and info like every single time. Yeah, so we're going to head to assets. And this is where you just get to add your headshot, your logo that you continuously use, your contact information that you're always trying to put on a design. So you don't have to go back in every time and create a design and, you know, add all those things. So I'm yeah. going to select, um, let me move our screens here. So you'll see color palettes. So let's pretend, yeah, you're an agent out there and you have your own logo and it has a different color scheme and you could come in here and add your own color scheme to set it and forget it so that when you go into designs, you could just pull that color every time instead of have to figure it out every single time yourself manually. Um, you can add images, you could add logos. Your text is being pulled from your marketing profile, which is pretty cool. So if you don't have this down, um, take a note and just say, make sure that my marketing profile is up to date so that when you do come into assets, it's going to automatically pull in your contact information, all that great information about you into the section so that you don't have to type it all up. Okay. Logos, pretty obvious. You just upload. So you'll see this little upload button on each one and you'll pull your logo in. If you're really into creativity, you can add your own elements in as well. You could add videos which is pretty cool. And um, we have the section called files. You could upload any files you wanna save as well, which is awesome. So how does this benefit you? Do this first before I show you how to create a template and listing presentation, okay? So that's my quick tip. So I'm gonna head back to templates. And again, I'm in the listing side, listing presentation. I also selected uh, create a design and print. Okay, so create a design and print will lead you here. And here we are listing presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and select use. So knowing what I just showed you and taught you, this is how it's all going to come together full circle. And you're going to be like, wow, that saved me a lot of time. So let it load here for a second. <clears throat> and voila, here we are. So just some info here, these little red pop ups are actually tutorials to help you walk through any design creation. So if you do need help, just click next. Otherwise, for this example, I'm gonna say skip because I'm gonna teach you, all right? Now, over here on the left-hand side, you're gonna automatically see that I have my asset selected. And every single time I select one of these, like text images, you'll see my assets. And just quickly, you'll see there's all of my information that's there. Hey, what's images. that funky uh, red lines there? Where uh, on the listing presentation template? What is that? Oh, I think it's I just think, part of design. Oh, yeah. I don't think so. But, I think it was accidentally. Really? Yeah, erase that. 
Yeah, Erase that was it. weird. Get rid of it. I, th- I think that you accidentally weird. drew it. <laughs> my, uh, yeah, my my ghost accidentally drew. Yeah. I don't know what happened there. But so check this out. So I'm going to show you how to use all these really cool um, options. Now, lower right hand corner of my screen, you'll see 29 pages. If you click there, you're going to see all of the pages of this listing presentation. So let's click on page two. And I love page two because it, it, it keeps it so simple. It gives you instructions on how to do this. So we're going to skip this and I'm going to show you how to do this already. Can you, can you right. mute people? Yeah, I muted everyone. And Leslie, you just have to unmute yourself. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. So page three. So page two is instructions. Here's the, here's how you do it. We're going to skip it because I'm going to show you. And here we are. What I love about these listing presentations, Nick, and everyone here is that we have stock images already included. The template is already created. And all you have to do is plug and play. It's that easy. So a uh, real quick example, your KWGBA logo down below here. Uh, let me click out of this. Okay, there we go. So now it's selected. Did you all notice on the left-hand side of my screen that my logos now show? Because I selected this logo. That is the brand assets portion that I just taught you. All of my logos are there automatically. I don't have to go and now upload my own logos for my computer because that takes time. And who remembers where we put those anyway, <laughs> right? <laughs> so um, I'm gonna select KWDBA name. And then on the left-hand side, I'm gonna select my KWDBA logo. Now, because it's selected, I have this option where it has those little cute arrows going either way. It says replace logo. So I'm gonna select that and voila, I just replaced my logo. And I get to resize it and place it where I need it to go. Same thing with first name, last name, check this out. So I select first name, we're gonna head to text and then down below, you're gonna see, oh, look, there's my name. Well, actually my first name and my last name. So I'm just gonna select replace and automatically and magically it comes in. So I'm gonna, oops, let's undo that. So I'm gonna select this text box again and just make it look pretty and there we are. So that's why it's really powerful to set your assets first, then come in and create your design, okay? Now let's go explore together a couple options around this listing presentation. You know By what? the way, yeah. Those things on the on the front page of the of the listing presentation, they were actually supposed to be there. I just felt they See, looked weird. I thought so, Nick. But they just you looked You know what, weird. I think when you go to print, that little part on the edge gets clipped off. Okay, maybe that's true, yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm so I mean, glad it's not I'm like it's, it, does, it doesn't matter here or there, like whether they're there or not. <laughs> but I just thought they were just awkward. Feel, yeah. Yeah. No, thank, me, thank you for making me feel like I still have my brain cells together too. Yeah. And like, how did I just magically create something? Okay. Sorry, guys. So we, we come back to page four. So I love this because you can come back in and replace this beautiful person's face with yours. So we're going to head to um, images. And again, you'll see in the upper left-hand corner of my screen, you'll see my assets. Do you see that? And there I am because I already added um, my headshot in. And for some reason, it's not giving me that cute little replace button option. But what I'm gonna do is just drag it in and see if I can get it. No. Nope. Yeah, you can just refer it. You can just reshape it. Yeah, I'll just reshape it for just reshaping purposes. So we're gonna drag it, make it look pretty. I'm going to cover, actually delete her. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and then there I am, right? And I can make my picture bigger if I want. You guys get the idea and brand it. You look like a professional. So page five. <clears throat> now, like what I was going to say um, is this, again, is a listing presenta presentation. There is also a buyer presentation. But what I want to point out about these presentations is that you get to brand it to you, which is beautiful. And you get to come in and add um, any of your photos of, let's say, since this is a listing presentation, the home that you're going to go and walk into and present to them how, why they should hire you. So really cool stuff. Um, 
it kind of, for me, from like an outside point of view, it makes you look like a professional and it looks like you have your um, ducks in a row, right? Because you're like, and I have your house in my presentation. You should already hire me, right? So um, I can come over here and upload a new photo. So see where it says add on the left-hand side of my screen? I'll select add. And from here, I can add in any of the images that I already have set. These images on the left-hand side are part of the listing presentation already. Okay, so just disregard some of these images. But again, you can um, come in and add a photo by simply dragging and dropping here, clicking on it, and then finding your photo from your desktop. Let's pretend it's this one and we'll say open. Now, you might not have a picture of the property because it hasn't been listed yet. Right. But you could find, you could use like a Google Maps image or yeah. something along those lines. Or if you have time, just, you know, really creepily swing by the property and take a photo from your car. Make sure no <laughs> one sees you. Exactly. Exactly. I love it. So pretty straightforward. Um, you're going to put their comps on this first page their um, address on their on this first page too. So again, you just click each thing that you want to replace and then just type in. The beautiful thing about designs is that I think Nick, we did a really Oh, so good these job. are the comps? Um, no, this yeah, is just, this we is can just pay the pay listing pay photo. Floor. Okay, got it. We can yeah. get somebody yeah, unmute yourself there, Leslie. I didn't mean Thank everyone. you. I know. Thank you for getting uh, uh, getting my back there. So this would be like the picture of their property and and just showing them like, hey, this is your home and what it would look like, and this is what it was last sold for. And then we're going to talk about price soon in this in this presentation. But you get to come up here and up here and change the font type, which I love. So you don't have to necessarily stick with yeah. The like font personally, what I would do here. is. Personally, like I would do as little customization as possible in terms of font styles. Yeah. Because same. the design department at Keller Williams chooses the fonts for you I that, agree. you know, they're the experts. They know what fonts look the best on this design. Yeah. So I wouldn't even change the fonts. Just change the, the words yeah. if you want, but don't change the font. That's just an extra step. Hey, yeah. Make your life easier. I love it. So page six, I like this page because this discusses about their neighborhood that they live in. And I think this is pretty like magical that you can come in and change this little image. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. This is the, as if we were capturing their neighborhood, their comps, active days, total pending, things of that nature. We've made it super simple and easy for you. So again, select the image you wanna change. We're gonna head over to KWLS on the left-hand side of my screen. And then from here, you'll see listing and snapshots. So I'm gonna select snapshots and I'm gonna search by postal code. Okay, just, just for ease of use for this demonstration. So I'm gonna type in my postal code, let the system go look for it. So give it a, a few seconds here and voila, there is my 80129 postal code that I want this to be replaced with. So all I need to do is select that replace image and it replaces it for me. What? Which, how easy was that, Nick? Cause Crazy. I don't have to go searching. I mean, I think it's good to do your due diligence and, and make sure that these numbers match, but because we're connected to every single MLS in the entire nation, almost every single MLS, it's pulling this information live. And so it's updating as, mm -hmm. as, as much as possible for you so that you don't have to go and do the research yourself. Yeah, and Ariella in the chat, she said it best. This is dope. Yes, this is dope. I love it, girl. Let's and I just want everyone back. to know because I've asked, been asked three times already, even though there's a little on the upper left-hand corner of the screen, it says recording. It's being recorded, guys. <laughs> just look to the upper left-hand corner of the screen. It says it. I love all of you. I love all you too. Oh my gosh. So funny. Uh, Joe, so, yes, you can do a subdivision if it, you can do a neighborhood. So that's essentially a subdivision if you have one. Yep. So you'll select search by neighborhood here instead. 
Yeah. Oh, lots of lots of questions. Can you do the same thing just for a market update and send it to your database? Sure. Oh my you gosh, that's a whole, whole other class, Valerie. In a smart plan. Yeah. That's a whole other class. It's called a monthly neighborhood nurture. Yeah, that too. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. We're not going to show you that today, but yes. Okay. And then oh, seven, Valerie said, my bad. No, 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 Valerie. I wasn't trying to make no. you feel like you didn't know. I'm just saying that's yeah. a great question because yes, command does have that. Absolutely. 100%. If you go to my YouTube Valerie. channel, go to my YouTube channel. There is a video that shows you how to put your contacts on monthly neighborhood nurtures. It's the best thing. It is one of the best things. I can't even just, I, I could totally scroll and talk about it, but I'm not going to. Yeah. Comparable properties on page seven. I love this one because again, we made it super easy for you to go find those comparable properties, select the image that you want to replace and go and search for um, those properties that are listed. So KWLS again is where you're going to head for this um, section in this functionality. And we're going to head to listing. And then from here, you're just going to type in that address that you know is very comparable to the one that you hope to, to list. So you'll search by address. Um, I'm trying to think, I don't have an address. Yeah, just, it, mind, you, uh, just but it's type pretty in, easy. Yeah, just like, let's just put in a number. I'll give, you, number I'll give you a quick address to type in, ready? Perfect, I'm ready. Okay, let me just get you any address, any address for you to type in. Uh, I'm just gonna do, Okay, hold on. Let me get one. Type in MLS number. Uh, wait, where is it? Oh, MLS number 220-12506. It is, scroll down. It's 515 Grove Street. Right there. Awesome. Beautiful. So I'm going to select this one. And now it's going to pull in the listing photo. I think there's I only, have... oh, you know what? There's only one photo on the MLS right now. So just that's fine. That's okay. So I'll it's select, brand new. Yeah. So I'll select replace image. And then we're going to head to listing details. Did you guys see that? So I'm going to head back. So I selected this one. Yeah. And, and if there right were more photos, it, if there were more photos, it would all show up right there. Yeah. And yeah. yes, um, you can do sold comps, Kathy, if you have the MLS number for the sold comp. Great question. You can do so that. Over here, yeah. So over here on the left-hand side, you're going to see all of the information that you can replace this with. So, um, you know, the criteria of each home, three beds, three baths, all that good stuff, right? So you get to come in and replace this. Now you guys are getting the idea. It's very simple. You just plug and play. I wanted to just remind you that because there are 29 pages here, it doesn't mean you have to use all 29, okay? And I'm gonna show you at the end here soon um, how you can download the pages that you want. But feel free to delete some of these pages or just download the ones that you want to download and use. Um, so I'll show you at the end here, but before I do, I will, Nick and I would like to show you a few more pages that I think we think are really yeah. powerful. And mm -hmm. it's, I think it's page 11 through 14, right, Nick? Yeah. So your marketing plan is very important. So yeah. go to, go to, go to page 12. Oops. And this is showing them how you're going to find the buyer. So these are NAR stats. 25 to 30% of houses are found by real estate agents. And then 70% of homes are found on the internet by the buyer themselves. So it's very important that the two things that you spend the most amount of your energy on are marketing to other agents in your market and to uh, potential buyers on the internet. So that's important to show. And then go to number 13. Um, this is just going to show them how your, you can create smart targeted networking. So go to number 13, uh, 14, and this is just about, um, the different types of marketing that you can do. 
brochure, just listed, just listed postcard. If you don't do any of those things and replace it with like social media or Instagram, right? Um, so yeah, so that's what you do. Uh, Marcy wants to know when you replace the given comp stats, the text block covers all three lines. So how do you go about replacing bedrooms and baths one line at a time? Yeah, you just have to delete the current. So go back to, yeah, go back to that. You just delete that all at yeah, once. So like that. And then add beds and baths. Yep. Over on the side. Cool. Yeah. So see, I just click on the plus and it will open up. I can size it down. Oops. Let's try that again. Yeah. Scroll that over. Oops. What happened there? Let's you could just do... type it in too. Yeah. Um, you can go to text here and What's then that? we'll click on add. Oh. And then we'll just add a text box real quick. And then you can type in, you know. Six beds, six baths. Six beds. Yeah, that's a little, that's actually a slightly cumbersome, unfortunately. Yeah. And then just shrink it down. Yep. Yeah, I don't know why that is done that way. Hmm. Yeah, it's just one of those things where I feel like we an need oversight. to. Yeah, it's an oversight. Like we just need to make sure that everyone is individually added so that you don't have to go, you know, because then obviously like, you know, in the listing detail, this replace button doesn't do much, right? Yeah, yeah. unfortunately it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. Some of it does though, like the price, the address, yeah, that stuff. So you can save half the time. Yeah. All right, so let's move on. There's a question from Kathy. Can you embed a video link? Um, no, you cannot. But you could just show the video. I don't think, you, I mean, you can't put in a video. There's no spot for video only. You could add a URL somewhere. Um, well, if you're showing it on an iPad. Yeah. Then maybe you could. I've just never tried it, so I don't want to promise anything. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Could you just highlight the number and then use replace? Um, I yes, you can, but it only replaces. Oh yeah, you can highlight the number and then replace with with the number. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, hundred percent. Yeah. Um. So let's go. Yeah. So let's wrap this part up. Scroll down a little bit more. Yeah, because we have to talk about downloading. What other pages do we like to focus on, Nick? I forget. It's hard to see them from here. Click on a couple I of them. Know. We were on pages, let's look at 15. Go to 16. Okay. Coming soon campaign, just list a campaign. This stuff is Oh good. yeah, those are checklists. That's good yeah. stuff. It makes um, you look like a rock star. Like you open have house strategy <laughs> is great. Go to 18. Let's look at 18. Mm, yeah, you the... can add a QR code. That's a great idea, Alberto. Oh yeah, scroll down a little bit more. Um, oh, down. on the pages. Yep. Yeah. And then, yeah, so there's a lot of good stuff. So the stuff that's in there, you've got where you're going to find your buyer. You have your comps. You have where you're going to find your buyer. You have how you're going to market the property. You have a checklist for getting the house on the market and for doing an open house. Um, then you've got probably some information about you and your team and or your business. So there's a lot of stuff. I don't think you need all 29 pages, mm. but you know, at least like 18 to 20 of them would be relevant. Um, yeah. But it's yeah. great because there's so much stuff in there that makes you look like a pro. Like if you haven't listed a ton of homes or you're kind of new to the business, there's a lot of great stuff in there that can help guide you in terms of like what you should do. So, you know, yeah, if you don't absolutely. know what to do during an open house, then it'll show you this is these are the steps so some larry so, asked earlier how do you show yeah. this on an ipad oh perfect i was going to show that was going to be next so i love that you asked that question larry so upper right hand corner of my screen you're going to select share and what it's doing right now is it's generating um, a, a digital pdf option okay but you have to look closely you have two options here. One that says this design, so I can link this to just this one pager, 
or I could select the project, which is what you want to do. So let's just do a live demo here. I'm going to, I'm going to copy this link and we're going to paste it into my browser and look at how beautiful that is. So if you're on yeah. a tablet or your computer. <sighs> yeah. Yvonne just asked, can you send it as a magazine style? It opens as a book. Yeah. So this is what it would look like. That's, yeah. Yep. Um, and now logistically, when you click on download, again, we had talked about, you know, do you want to only download a certain amount of pages that you edited? You're going to actually come into download. And then um, from here, it's going to show all the pages. And what you'll do is you'll literally select one by one the pages that you want to print or download or use and then um, click download or you can just select all pages download so let's pretend you want to print this out and actually put it in a listing packet with your presentation digitally so you leave something behind with them yeah and you can um, also download it and upload it to like staples.com and have them print it out professionally yeah. and make it look nice like a magazine. If you want to leave something behind, which, <clears throat> you know, isn't that expensive, I think it would look nice. And you want to include, include bleed too, which is again, like a little quick tip that will make sure that everything is looking pretty so that when we do see a design that's running off the screen, you'll know that it, the other part is not going to be printed, right? So um, yeah, that's how you can make yourself look like a rock star with a listing presentation or a Sweet. buyer presentation. Yeah. And there are, um, there are lots of different options to choose from lots of different, there's probably like five or six to maybe more listing and buyer, uh, presentations. So <clears throat> before we move on guys, um, you guys are on here, uh, for free. And so we just want to tell you a little bit about Commander Consulting. It's the company that Leslie and I, uh, this will take about three minutes. It's the company that Leslie and I have. We consult with brokerages and agents all over, all over the country, getting them better on command. And we offer some different products. Uh, we offer Command Your Social, which is one-on-one -on -one or group coaching or group consulting. We have a class called Sell 1 Million a Month per, uh, 1 Million a Month so 1 million per month with command and Facebook. We teach that in person. And we also teach that several times a year, virtually command your consulting. Oh, I'm sorry. Command your social is, is social media lead and uh, marketing management. So that's where we create ads for you guys and generate quality leads for you. Command your consulting is one-on-one -on -one consulting and coaching with agents and uh, group coaching with market centers. And then Command Your Income is a brand new class that we have coming out that teaches you Yay. the life of a lead and how to keep your pipeline full with opportunities. So you mm -hmm. never have to wonder where your next paycheck is coming and when it's coming. So Command Your Social, we have you, you get four custom Facebook campaigns per week. You get a smart plan included with each campaign. You get custom tagging for new leads and custom branded design campaign templates and that ranges between 499 and 549 a month depending if you're solo or a team sell 1 million a month is a three-week class some of you on here may have taken it uh it teaches you the command to command your consumer site teaches you then how to build a campaign to bring in quality leads and then of course the follow-up which is very important that's a 249 class for three weeks Command your consulting one-on-one -on -one and group technology consults. We offer market center offerings. So if your leadership is interested in bringing us in to teach over the course of a certain period of time, we can definitely do that. It's virtual. And then if you're an agent or a team and you want consulting and coaching on command systems and streamlining your business with technology, like with social media, lead generation, brand awareness, um, st just streamlining your business and getting systems in place. We can definitely help you with that. And command your income is the new class we have coming up next month. What is a lead and what is a contact? How do you project your future business and income and keep your pipeline full with those? In other words, what is the life of a lead? In the three-week class, we're going to help you generate leads, implement the proper follow-up, uh, to convert them. We're going to utilize opportunities and implement different phases, phases and stages 
in terms of where that lead is in the pipeline and when they're looking to buy. We're going to teach you how to implement the proper tasks and then teach you post-close touches so you can stay in touch 33 times per year. And if you have any questions or want more information on any of these classes, it's very simple. All you need to do is text CYC, that stands for Command Your Consulting, text CYC to 248-870-3007, text CYC 248-870-3007, and I will text you back with any of the info that you're looking for. Um, but this doesn't have to fall on you. This could be taken back to your leadership. Have the market center pay for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Have, listen, have them do it. Not <laughs> you. Have them do it. So text me CYC to 248-870-3007 and I'll send you information that you can take back to your market center. All right, guys, I appreciate you sitting in on that. And now I'm going to go to my next uh where is it hold on i gotta go to command give me one second let me pull it up uh, 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 uh. i think i i closed out command by mistake let me open it back up all right here we go oh all right good job we're here. We have, um, blah, 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 blah. this is my website. Okay. We're going to talk about buyer and seller guides and the buyer and seller guide is what helps you keep your consumer in the loop at all times during the process of the transaction. Now you'll see when I'm on my website, there's nothing here that will lead me to a guide. You'll see up here, it just says my team name, feed, login. You have to log in or create an account. So it's important for your consumers to log in. Then when they log in, you can see guide right here. So when I click guide, think of it as your Domino's pizza tracker or your Amazon delivery tracker or, and by the way, thank you, Ori Aurelia. I'm pronounced, I'm butchering your name. I said it Aurela last time, but it's Aurelia. Thank you, Aurelia, for texting. I'll get back to you when we're done. Appreciate you. And we're going to click on guide. And this will basically takes them from a buying standpoint or a selling standpoint, depending on who they are or what they are, takes them through the entire process. And you guys get to customize this and set this up the way you want it to look. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But if someone's buying a property, I have decided to start with the pre-approval. What can I afford? When they click it, whoa, this is so stinking cool. <clears throat> You'll see this on your app also. This is a, a affordability calculator. So let's say um, I want to buy a house for $300,000. And, you know, let's say my household income is $100,000. Let's say I have a monthly debt of, and it tells you what it is, lenders compare monthly, credit cards, medical bills. Let's say I have a monthly debt of $1,000. Let's say my credit score is 720 to 850. I'm going to put 10% down and let's just kind of leave everything else here. Okay. Um, so then it tells me that this is what I can probably afford. 281, 280. I can't afford the 300. Maybe if I made a little bit more, then I, oh, wow. Then I can afford 526. That's pretty awesome. And then it tells me over here what my monthly payment would be depending if all of this stuff stayed the same. Okay. APR now is like 5%, isn't it? It just went up. So then that goes a little bit lower to 460. So this is pretty sweet. And then right here, they can just start their pre-approval. Um, so let's, yeah, so they can start their pre-approval. Uh, consultation would be the next step. Then the pre-approval, they can get pre-approved right here. Or I might move this up. So I'll show you how to move these things around. The home search would be next. It explains what the home search is, entails. Then what it's like when we go look at houses. And then when they find a house, they want to write the offer. 
execute a contract. Now in New Jersey, where I'm originally from, we have attorneys. So I had to add the attorney review uh, step. I had to add that. Okay. So if you're in an attorney state, you're going to have to add it and I'll show you how home inspection, home insurance. Now the buyer, if they go to the home inspection portion and then they want to mark the step completed, they just click mark step completed. And then look, it turns um, blue, a blue check. Okay. And so on your end, as the, as the, as the agent, you can also mark a check completed. Oh, check this out. Look at this recommended price for 6,153. It, it throw it, put it in there for me. Isn't that cool? Amazing. That's so cool. Yeah. So as a seller, you know, they might be, you might do staging first and then professional photography, marketing, showing your house, reviewing offers, attorney review, inspection, appraisal, mortgage commitment, close. Okay. So let me show you guys how you would, how you would customize this on your end. So I'm in command and I'm going to go to the left-hand side and I'm going to click on consumer at the lower left. All right. And so when I'm clicking on consumer, I want to click on guide builder at the top in the center. And then it is brings me to the ability to edit any of the steps. So let's edit the buy side. So I'm going to come over here to the right hand side and click edit guide. And watch this. So let's say I want to move some of this stuff around. I'm going to move the pre approval up. So now they'll, they're going to do the mortgage calculator, then get pre approved, and then I'll have the consultation with them. Okay. So if I save changes, <clears throat> go back to my website. So now we can see when I, I'm going to refresh this, watch this. So the pre-approval will move up a notch. Okay. So it moved up. So mortgage calculator, pre-approval, and then consultation that it works in real time. Um, if I want to delete something, I just click it and click delete and it goes away. If I want to add something, I go to the bottom, click add a step and I can create my own custom step or I can select a default step. So let's select a default step and I'll add what can I afford and continue. And so it shows up at the bottom, but I just bring it up to the top and save changes. Now, if I want to edit something, click consultation. I can add my own image if I want to. Um, I can edit the sub card title, which kind of explains, you know, right here what this is. And then in the workspace, I can type even more. I can type endless amount. And they're going to be updating these guides in the future with like photos and video capabilities. So that'll be pretty sweet. Um, so that's how you do that and just click X to bring you back. Now, let me go to, let me back up and go to the seller's guide. So edit guide. And I actually added staging, professional photography, marketing, attorney review. Okay, so let me show you how to add a step. I'm gonna click this step and delete it, okay? Let's say I need to add the attorney review because <clears throat> in my state we have attorneys, but the default guy doesn't have that. So I'm going to click add a step. And I'm going to create a custom step and call it attorney review period. And let's give it an, let's give it a little subtitle. This is a three day period where attorneys for both buyer and seller review the content tract. Okay. And I need a photo. So let's go into command and into designs and get a photo. So I'm going to go into designs. Let 
Let's go, designs. Any day now. There we go. And then I'm going to click create a design and choose social and continue. And uh, what I'm going to do here is click my designs at the top. And I'm going to create a design from scratch. So I'm going to click start. And then I want to search social square. So that's what I want to use. And so now I have a blank canvas, but now I need to find a photo. So I'm going to click images and I'm going to click stock. And then this allows me to search Shutterstock. So I'm going to filter and choose the free option and un unchoose those and click apply. So everything here is going to be free. So let's type in lawyer and enter. And so I'm going to use this one. Okay, so click the box and then replace the image. Oh, you know what I need to do? You got to use as the background. There we go. Now it works. And so now I want to save this and file. Oops. Save. And then let's download. Okay, so that's downloading. Now I'm gonna go back to my guide builder and I'm gonna upload that image, okay? And here we go, perfect, continue. Now I've got my image there and I wanna move this up. Oops, I went too high. I wanna go to review offers and then attorney review period. Okay. And then I'm going to save changes, go back to my website, go to selling, refresh it. And then you'll notice here's my attorney review period. Okay. And then I could write anything you would write in down here in the workspace. So anything you want to write there, Save changes, let's refresh and go back to attorney review. And now we can see that I, whatever I wrote is there. And you can even put attorney options, attorney suggestions, if you have an attorney state. So anyway, that's how you do it. And it shows up on your app and it shows up on your website. So check this out. I'm going to go into um, command opportunities. Actually, no, let me go to contacts first. And I'm going to use myself in it as an example. Oh, looks like Ann Baldwin was looking on my website. What was she looking at? Oh, I think I, oh. I marked her step completed. Okay, never mind. She wasn't looking at my website. Okay, Nick Baldwin. Okay, so you can see like what's going on here, even the guide steps. All right, so I'm going to go into opportunities. I'm going to go into this listing opportunity. And then I'm going to go into my seller profile. And it's important that your seller or buyer is attached to your app or your site because then you can manage the guide for them. And let's say they are, let's say you've taken professional photography. I'm going to click this and then I'm going to click save changes. Then I'm going to go to my website and you can see that it was checked off, which is pretty awesome that that happens. So you can do it for them. And then when they go into their guide on, on your app, they will also see that you have marked their step complete. So I dig that. It's just like the, it's just like the um, Amazon delivery tracker or Domino's pizza tracker. It just, it keeps them in the loop. And 
when I go back to my contacts, I go to my timeline. Let's see here if this works. Oh, you know what? I think that was under my wife. Let's see. Oh, no, I don't know which one it was under. Hmm, that's interesting. Don't worry about it. So this shows that it was checked off. And then in um, opportunities, uh, you can also check. Oops, I went back to my wife. In opportunities, you can also see seller profile, manage guide. Yeah, let me check off. Let me check off another one. Let me check off um, marketing, save change, go back to our website, refresh. Oh yeah, marketing was checked off. So pretty cool. Yep. So it keeps everybody in the loop throughout the entire transaction. So this also cuts down on, you know, late night phone calls. What's next? What are we doing? What happens tomorrow? What's going on? Yada, yada, yada. So they can just check the app to see where they're at in the process. And there's endless amount of steps. You can add as many steps as you want throughout the process and take ones out and put ones in. There's really no wrong way to do it. Any questions on that? Amazing. Yeah, I answered them, Nick. Um, awesome. One question Ozzy had, we didn't get to, does the app provide a push notification that the step is completed? Uh, I didn't, I didn't get a notification, but I don't see, think so. Let's see if my notifications are, are on email. Yeah. I'm not sure. I didn't get one. So maybe yeah. not, mm -hmm. maybe not. Um, but it's nice to have anyway, regardless. Mm-hmm. How do you add the, what can I afford page? Great question. I'll show you that again. So if you want to add, let's go into consumer. Let's go into guide builder. And then go into buyer. We'll edit the guide there. Okay. I'm going to delete this. Okay. Delete. So this is how you add it. Okay. So you scroll to the bottom, click add a step. And then you select a default step, which means a step that's already there for you. You don't have to create it. Click that and then select a uh, step from the list. What can I afford? Continue. And then you have to grab the little tab on the side and you got to move it up. Amazing. Unbelievable. <laughs> Every time you say it, every time you say moving on up, I think of that. Is it a Jefferson Franklin song or is it Jefferson moving on up? Yeah, Jefferson. Yeah, don't sing that because it's not that's not how it goes. Oh, <laughs> it was you almost crushed, there. You it crushed was almost, my I dreams. crushed your soul. I crushed your you soul. You crushed my my singing career. Sorry. Great stuff, Nick and Leslie. Thank you. You're welcome, Lee. Thanks, Lee. Thanks, Lee. Um, love it, love it. Well, thanks guys for being here. Uh, hope you got some value. Yes, it's recorded. Yes, I'll get it out to you in the next day or two. It's only recorded for people who didn't ask me. I'm just Nick, kidding. Should we remind people about that text that you want to add in? The text to number? Um, yeah, if you're interested in if if you're interested in hearing about more of the training options that Leslie and myself have, you know, definitely, um, definitely text us, text CYC to 248-870-3007. And a lot of this stuff is stuff that your market center can invest in you with, not necessarily you. So don't be afraid, send it to your leadership. So text me to text code CYC to 248-870-3007. And I'll send you stuff to bring to your leadership and see if they want us to come teach um, on a more regular basis and consult with you guys in the market center. So please do that. It's very helpful. And we'll keep doing these freebies too. Yeah. For you guys, because it's yeah. a lot of fun. Everyone it have an amazing, amazing weekend. Happy Thanks Easter everyone. if you celebrate. Happy Passover if you celebrate. And we'll see you on the next one. Adios.